welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and happy November 1st to all of you. Hope that you had a very good Halloween uh, trick-or-treating, whatever it is that you do with your kiddos or family during that time. Hope it was all well for you. Today marks the beginning of a new conflict that we are going to cover for all of this month and next month, which will be the Philippine-American War. If you'd like to skip ahead and just get to today's Tale of Honor, go ahead and just fast forward to about the four-minute mark. So before we get into that, I will be giving you a synopsis before today's Tale of Honor. But I have two birthdays to go over, starting with Sammy L. Davis. November 1st, 1946, he was born, so he turns 74 years old today. He is also known as the real Forrest Gump. And uh, when I do finally get a chance to get to his story, you will know why. Following up to our second and final birthday for today... William Swenson, who is currently still in the U.S. Army. He is a lieutenant colonel, and he received the Medal of Honor for his actions in the war in Afghanistan, and uh, he was born November 2nd, 1978. So he'll be turning 42 years old tomorrow. So a very happy birthday to William and Sammy. Now, one more order of business before we get into the bulk of today's episode is, as I talked about on the last episode, I did appear on an episode of the Digression Podcast, and that episode did come out on Friday. So I will have a link in the show notes so that you can go over and give a listen to that. Um, The three of us, Chris, Jody, and myself, tell the story of Chief Master Sergeant Dick Etchberger. So please go check that out wherever it is that you listen to podcasts. The link in the episode will go to their website, and wherever you want to listen from there is totally up to you. But that's all I got for that. Now, to start, I'm going to give a quick synopsis. It's not going to be as detailed as it probably should be of the Philippine-American War, but here we go nonetheless. The Philippine-American War, uh, it's actually known as a couple things. It could be the Filipino-American War, the Philippine War, or the Philippine Insurrection. It began on the 4th of February, 1899, and it went until the 2nd of July, 1902. Some Filipino nationalists viewed the conflict as a continuation of the struggle for independence that began in 1896 with the Philippine Revolution, but the U.S. government regarded it as as an insurrection. It began when the first Philippine Republic objected to the terms of the Treaty of Paris, which is how the United States took possession of the Philippines from Spain, which ended the Spanish-American War. Even though the war officially ended in 1902, there were actually some rebellions that continued on until the official defeat in 1913. Now, that is a very, very quick synopsis of it, and I'm sure I'm missing quite a bit, but just to give you an idea of what was going on at this time. According to the numbers that I see, the U.S. casualties were between uh, 4,200 and 6,100 killed and 2,800 wounded, uh, and on the other side, on the Philippines side, it looks like it was about 16, anywhere between 16,000 and 20,000 killed. So that is all I have for the quick history, very quick history of the Philippine American War. So let's get on into today's episode, which is episode number 355 and today's tale of honor. Charles was born in Fort Myer, Virginia on the 23rd of December, 1872. His father was an army officer stationed at Fort Myer, and Charles went on to attend and graduate from the Virginia Military Institute in 1894. Four years later, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant on the 20th of May, 1898, and it wasn't long after that Charles was deployed to the Philippines during the Philippine-American War. It was his actions here that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Within a range of 250 yards of the enemy, and in the face of a rapid fire, climbed a telephone pole at the east end of the bridge and in full view of the enemy, coolly and carefully repaired a broken telegraph wire, thereby re-establishing telegraphic communication to the front. After the Philippine-American War, Charles went on to serve in China during the Boxer Rebellion, as well as a total of five tours throughout the Philippines. He served on both the British and French fronts during World War I, losing vision in his right eye after a mortar explosion. 
Charles was the commander of the 36th Heavy Artillery Brigade and the 3rd Infantry Brigade until October of 1918. After World War I, he was the head of inspecting coastal defenses in Europe until May of 1919, when he then served on the faculty of the Army War College until 1924. By the time Charles retired from the Army in 1936, he had reached the rank of Major General and had commanded the 6th Corps area and the 2nd Army. Charles returned to the Virginia Military Institute to serve as their 6th Superintendent from the 1st of October 1937 to the 11th of July 1946. He was also the first American to receive the three highest U.S. Army awards, the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, and the Distinguished Service Medal. Charles Evans Kilborn Jr. died on the 12th of November 1963 at the age of 90, and he is buried with his wife Elizabeth and one of their two children in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 3, Grave 1705. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.